One of the first tasks the Free National Movement must complete is composing the new fiscal budget. Good Friday evening, Bahamas. I'm Altavis Munnings. I'm Gish Latterly. Thanks so much for joining us. Topping the news tonight, the new administration is in the process of finalizing a financial roadmap for the country. This is a priority item as the new fiscal year starts in just a few weeks. Well, apart from the new budget, the Minister administration also outlined several primary financial initiatives in this week's speech from the throne. The strengthening accountability and transparency of the fiscal operations at the Ministry of Finance is just one of the items on the new government's agenda to enhance the country's economy. My government will introduce public procurement regulations under the Financial Administration and Audit Act. In this regard, the Ministry's immediate focus on improving its systems for public finance management through the procurement of new software applications for the operations of the Customs and the Treasury Departments. My government will be introducing legislation to allow the government to meet its international obligations with respect to financial regula regulation and supervision. This would, be, this would also include legislation to facilitate the exchange of information for tax purposes in a manner that has the full support of the private sector. These measures seek to secure the Bahamas' position as a premier financial service center. My government will enhance legislative initiatives to benefit the domestic financial sector. The legislation will establish a credit bureau and strengthen the oversight of domestic and international financial institutions. Governor General Her Excellency Dame Marguerite Pinling also revealed in a speech from the throne at the opening of Parliament this week that the government plans to strengthen operations at the Department of Statistics by providing autonomy and resources to improve the timeliness and reliability of statistics which are critical for decision making. The government also aspires to continue forging strong ties with regional and international partners. My government will remain or maintain the level of the Bahamas' participation in regional, hemispheric, and international organizations such as CARICOM, the Organization of American States, the United Nations, and the Commonwealth of Nations. We will continue in the forefront of initiatives originating with and connected to the international campaign against human trafficking, the traffic of narcotics drugs, other illegal substances and firearms. My government will endeavor to establish mechanisms to include and engage the Bahamian diaspora in the fulfillment of our national interests and development. In order to address public sector reform, the Free National Movement government wants to provide appropriate training for all levels of the public service.